Diacyanides are uh, one of the most common chemicals causing occupational asthma in Europe. They can also cause uh, skin sensation uh, resulting in dermatitis. And there are also some concerns uh, related to a carcinogenicity of uh, some specific uh, diacyanides. We know that exposure may occur uh, in several uh, industry sectors, but information on the current exposure levels in many cases is quite uh, limited. There are also data uh, suggesting that uh, dermal exposure may contribute significantly to the total exposure to diacyanides and also to asthma risk caused by diacyanides. But uh, some further uh, investigation is still needed on this issue. We will use both uh, so-called exposure biomarkers, which means uh, different metabolic products of uh, diacyanide, which will inform us on the uh, total uh, exposure to uh, diacyanides. And then we will also uh, study some uh, effect biomarkers, for example, inflammatory biomarkers, uh, which will inform us on the uh, activation of uh, inflammation in the workers uh, who are exposed to these diacyanides. diacyanide suppliers uh, shall ensure that uh, users are provided with uh, training materials and courses on the safe use of diacyanides. And all users are obliged uh, to take these uh, trainings before using any diacyanides containing products. <laughs> 